Hi everybody, it's Nadine. I'm going to be talking to you today about additional support days and what they're going to look like for this year. Um, now that we've hired an additional technology integration specialist, that opens up my schedule and what I'm able to do for you when I come out to the elementary buildings. First of all, I wanted you to see this document that I have displayed, and that is going to tell you all of the first semester additional support days, the dates that I will be in your building the entire day. So each building is going to have me seven times in first semester. Okay, um, now last year, whenever you wanted to see me, it had to be during your prep, um, but now this is totally different this year, you can schedule to see me when you want to see me. Um, I'm going to be showing you a product called Calendly, and that's how you're actually going to sign up or schedule a time to see me. I'm going to go ahead and click on it here so that I can demonstrate for you how it's going to work, because you're going to get a choice of 15, 30, or 60 minute blocks that you can sign up for me. So if you're interested, then you're going to click on that link and then it's going to open my Calendly. All right. When you get my screen, it says, welcome to my scheduling page. Please look at the dates that I'm scheduled to be in your building for support and then select a time for me to assist you. So again, you get that choice of a 15 minute meeting, a 30 minute meeting or a 60 minute meeting. When you choose uh, which one that you want, I'm going to pretend like that I want a 60 minute it's going to ask me to select a day. So again, this is when you need to look at the scheduled dates that were on that first sheet. Um, so that way you know the specific dates of when I'm going to be in your building. So let's say that I wanted to schedule something for Wednesday, August 10th. Now you are going to see on here different increments of when you can sign up. As teachers sign up for a time to see me, those time slots will disappear. So the best thing I can tell you is it's first come, first serve. So if you don't think to sign up for me until the day of when I come, chances are um, my slots are not going to be the slots that are available for you. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to tell you what I can do for you so that I can encourage you to sign up to have me come into your classroom. Okay, um, I do want to demonstrate, let's say that I pick 9.30 a.m., so I'm going to pick that and I'm going to hit confirm. Next, you enter your first name and last name and your email address. And then I need you to answer these two questions because it helps me know when I come out to your building, what is it that I'm doing um, with you. So I have on there briefly describe how I can help you. And then please write down your room number so that way I can get to you a lot faster. Um, so after you schedule both of those and you hit schedule event, um, it will actually automatically generate a reminder for you and um, if for some reason you want to cancel it or I have to shift it or something like that it will also notify you um, that the event has been canceled or has been moved um, and so on. This is important though I did notice today when I was setting up Calendly that um, it did kick it into my clutter so if you are scheduled to see me but you don't see a confirmation I'm going to be telling you the first couple times that I come out to your buildings, hey, don't forget to check your clutter because that's where the reminder is going to be. Once you schedule the event, then you are simply finished with that and you're all signed up for me to come in and visit. Okay, so now let's talk about what is it that I can do for you? Why should you have me come into your classroom? Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, different ways that I can help you. So the first one is that push-in model. So I could come in and do a model lesson. Obviously, you'll need to um, talk to me ahead of time and let me know what it is that you're doing in your classroom, what type of a model lesson then I could design um, that integrates technology, and then I can come in and do it. So then you can be in there watching me do it to get some ideas of how you can roll it out. Um, maybe you want to co-teach with me. You want to have me in the classroom, but we're going to kind of tag team it back and forth with doing a model lesson. You know, I'm, I'm an additional hand that can come in your classroom. Um, those of you in elementary, you know, stations, math stations, literacy stations, you know, thinking of both of those stations, 
um, think about how I could be utilized in those ways. Um, I could run a station. I could uh, guide helping your students get ready to add technology to a station, all helping with that gradual release of responsibility. Okay, um, I can also be that one-to-one -one consultant. Um, that's obviously by appointment, but you can also email me. I don't want you to feel like that you can't email me. Um, you can do a video chat, a screencast. Now, on the fly, so let's say that I'm scheduled to be at a building, but I didn't have as many teachers sign up. Um, go ahead and email me and say, you know, hey, Nadine, do you happen to be open? Um, do you, would this happen to work for you? If it's possible on the fly, then I can, but you'll obviously have to check with me in advance. Um, the third way that you can use me and ha is emailing me or letting me know that when I meet with you, hey, I need you to help me find some sites and resources that match our curriculum so I can help you out with that. All right. Um, on the last slide here, I have that same um, additional support model that I had last year. You can rate yourself um, with the iPad and with Google. Are you in survival mode, mastery, impact, innovation? And all listed on the side here are different ways that I can help you out. Okay? Um, I encourage you to um, have me come in your building. Okay? Remember, first come, first serve. So maybe the first time I'm out in your building, which I start next week, um, you can actually book me in advance. So if you want to go ahead and branch out and look at dates coming out, go ahead and get me booked up. All right. If you have any questions, email me. I'm more than happy to answer your questions either by email or phone. All right. See you guys soon.